Hello and welcome everyone, I am CS Gilmore and this is FTL. So I decided to go with the Rock Cruiser this round. It's a nice little, I like I like the compactness of it. That's a lot of doors though. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to like this layout yet, but let's definitely give it a shot. Also, their missile, their weapon system is a bit different. Okay, attack the pirate. Doo -doo. Because they only have missiles as a starting weapon system. They don't... So, like, my aiming for their shields is kind of pointless right here because everything I have bypasses shields. Um, this could be good or bad. Oh, sorry, I had it on pause. There we go. This could be good or bad in some ways, though, because... Why are they shooting an ion weapon into nothing? Apparently my rockets aren't doing so hot out the hole, actually hitting things. There we go. But, um, hitting their shields is kind of a pointless thing for me here because all my weapons are missiles that bypass shields. But at the same time, if they had an anti-missile drone, I would have a much harder time of this. Because then I'd have to, um, I'd have to, like, time my missiles to fire all at once in order to avoid them all getting shot down right away. Since the drones can only shoot them down so fast. Um, another downside of this would be, if I run out of missiles, I'm useless and would be kind of toast in a fight because, yeah, I can't defend myself. not really sure... Hmm. On the bright side, your ship would be very much well set up against fire. The centralized... The nature of this would allow Fry for some e easy venting, except for on these little end pieces. And... So that could be good. So yeah, you could easily vent out systems for against fire. Plus, you've got a rock crew. Three members of a rock crew are, since they're immune to fire, that would make it a lot easier for them to just run in and be like, well, we've patched this up. Um, I should just use the hotkeys more often on this for the weapons, but oh well. And yeah, I don't know. I'm running through missiles really fast, so that's bad. Um... They respond, help, our shields are down, we won't last long. Uh, the ship does come with rock armor, which, like, helps defend my system, I guess. Make past your defenses. Front, front of that system. Yep, okay. Sweet. Um, I don't know. I'm still deciding, I'm not sure if I like it or not. Just because... It has potential, though. And once again, it, a lot of this depends on what is your style. How do you like to fight? How do you like to run your game? Strategy-wise, this is definitely a different one out of the mix compared to others. Oh, you jerks. Um, go fix that. I'll just vent that. Oh, okay, I didn't realize that there was a... There is a day door in the central area, so that is a problem. Because that could lead to some difficulty in traveling along. And I could really use that drone being knocked out. As it seems to be starting a lot of fires. Please knock it out. Ah, thank you. That drone was being very problematic. It is being st still being problematic. Good. But now with my shields back up, it's not nearly as the problem that it was. There is that. So, advantages, disadvantages. They range from some to another. Then, I think one of the other issues I could see with this weapon system, besides the fact that I'm going to run out of ammo real fast, would be that 
it is a bit slow. I have to work on, like, everything has to be charged, and missiles don't charge fast. Which is not the best setup for my gain stuff done in a timely fashion. Go heal. Okay, get back to your station. Back to your stations. You need to go heal. Go help him repair that, how about? Oh, never mind. It's fixed, good. Okay. Get him healed and then I'll head back to stations and move on. Um, while he's doing that, what else can I do here, though? Hmm. There. Now I've got two shield up, even if my engines aren't running at quite full capacity. They were in separate ones. There we go. All right. <sighs> oh, of course, I, did. I don't have enough to run both my weapons. But if I shut down the medical bay, I can power all my weapons right now and work from there. I suppose I... Uh, on a easier difficulty, this would not be as much of a problem because I could, like, the enemy wouldn't be as tough probably, and I could maybe just resort to using only one of my missile systems, the more powerful one, which would save me missiles, plus easier difficulty to get more scrap, and so better setup overall in that regard for being able to have a maintained system. Except, yay, I've got an NG crew member. You go run the shields. Go to the store. Do I buy two missiles? That's problematic. Um, bother. Yeah, this is not the best setup in some regards, so. Ooh, Salmon Solo to Vegetation hails you. Chain Burst Laser? What is that? Chain Burst Laser. This dual shot laser decreases in cooldown the more it fires. After three volleys, it only takes seven seconds to charge. So it starts slow, but it gets faster and fires two shots per charge. Huh. I'll try it out. Things take a long time to charge initially, though, so that's problematic. Um, rebel controlled, rock controlled. Let's take the rock controlled. It's still, I find it funny. I'm using a rock ship, but the rock controlled area still counts as a hostile area. You'd think, hey, rock ship, they'd be a little more friendly. Rocks. Nope, that didn't work. Oops. Oops, kiss. We have problems. Moving on. Fixed. Back to your stations. And jump away. Alrighty. Here's my chance to test this little baby out. You're gonna come over to my ship, aren't you? Oh, that's my battery dying. One second. Ah, da, da, da. Ah. There we go, plugged in. Okay. My battery is not so good. Get off my ship. Fires, yep, fires a two-round burst. Now it says plus one. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna turn off the... Yeah, I'm not gonna fire my missiles just because I'm right now. I'll just keep with the laser now. Once you get a weapon that isn't missile-based, that is helpful, just because the whole setup 
is a much more sustainable that way. And this is kind of nice once it gets powered up. It does fire faster, I'll give it that. But only so much faster. You know, well, seven seconds isn't bad. I'll, yeah, it's good. Stuff that. Sorry, mouse is giving me difficulties. There. Power up my health station. Good. Drain that. Power that back up. Back to your stations. Ah. Okay. And give myself some more power here to work with. That'll be better. Then. Go here. Should be able to afford a couple more missiles. Shame I can't afford to run the better missile launcher. Because that would be nice. Be able to run the, uh, the missiles that do two damage. Even though they do admittedly take longer to fire. By a little bit, but, you know, only a little bit. Here you follow us. Okay. They have issues apparently. I'm going to try to knock out their shields because we're a little dangerously close to a sun and that might help with their being fried faster if I knock out their defenses against it. Which hopefully means I'll have a slightly more advantageous setup here against them long term. Good. Yeah, now if the sh sun goes supernova on them, I'll... Yep, solar flare, not supernova. I definitely have an advantage. Bye, guys. Oh, um, that's on fire. Stop blowing holes in my ship. Let's get out of here. Go here. hire anyone, I don't have the credits to you. You get ready to move in and repair that system. Since you're the NG, you'll be faster at it. Just wait for the oxygen to come back within reasonable levels. Yay. Yeah, NGs repair a systems way faster than a lot of other races. That is one of their biggest advantages. Plus, they, I think they do help improve the efficiency of systems that they're running. Um, eh, why not? Okay, I guess I'm not properly equipped for whatever mission. Don't know what that's all about, or what I would need for it. Uh, okay. Ah, uh, rebel ship. Ah, uh, bother. On the bright side, this ship doesn't have any defenses. Its only setup is to knock out my shields with an ion cannon and then use cloak to try to evade me, I guess. <sighs> That's the annoying part. But it doesn't look like it has a very powerful cloak here, it's just a. F I think it's the basic cloaking. What is that, five seconds, I think? Um, yeah, not very good cloaking. This is an easy battle. Not gonna complain. Hmm. Honestly, I'm surviving better than I expected to with this ship. The shield overcharger. What's that? That's a drone. Create single super shield barrier periodically. So I think it means it would just create one bar of this, I'm not sure. But... <sighs> that would still be really useful. So I guess there is a way to recharge your super shield outside of moving when you have, like, say, a Zoltan Cruiser that has super shield. 
If you had a pod like a drone like that, it could work. Uh, oh, I went the wrong way. I am not paying attention. Dummy. I was like, oh, I'll go down to the exit. That's not the exit. Thank you very much. Uh, I may have just doomed myself. As that looks unpleasant. Oh! Yeah, I'm caught in the rebel fleet. That's something else I've noticed. If you get caught in the rebel fleet, you have this guy back here shooting at you. And every once in a while he hits and knocks out like something. Like a system or, or some sort. Which is not nice. Go help him put that out. That's important. Like, see, he just did that. Jerk. So this is a bad setup for me. Um, hmm. This may be my end. Got, took a wrong, wasn't paying attention, went the wrong way. Now I've got a rebel armada to deal, to deal with. Who keeps knocking out my weapons. what they're using as a cannon though whatever that is that looks not like super nasty i want it like that's if i if i was like running a ship like this i'd be like that's a nice gun i kind of want that i want to know how they got that on their ship also it fires really fast stop blowing holes in my ship ng come over here and repair this weapon system yeah, I'm dead. They're gonna kill me at this rate. Teleport to there. That might buy me a little time. I don't think it'll work though, just because... Yeah, I still have this guy over here. So I think, yep, he's gonna keep shooting at me. Oh, hi, welcome aboard. Get off my ship. You teleport into the med bay. Sucks to be you. Come on, get that fixed. And there I go. Oh well. That was an interesting run. A little different. The rock ship held up a lot better than I expected it to in the long run. Like, I lasted a lot longer than I anticipated lasting. Um, next episode I'm going to take this Linnaeus cruiser out. It's got an interesting one because it's got the ion stunner with the whole stunning crew in the area where it hits. And it's got a chain, one of those chain burst lasers also. Plus some Linnaeus crew and non-Linnaeus crew member. Uh, what else does this thing have? Looks like it starts with a hacking system. That could be useful. Starts with a clone bay. Oh, the hacking system requires drone parts to use. That's good to know. Automatically clone dead crew. Yep, okay. So, and they have emergency respirators. Crew take half damage from low oxygen. I guess that's a just kind of a uh, helpful thing for if you happen to, for if you pick up a bunch of non Linnaeus crew and you have to run through a lot of their areas. So, that's different. I'm going to definitely give that a try in another episode. I um, hope you enjoyed what you saw already. Keep coming back for more videos. Hit like, hit subscribe, leave a comment below. Bye!